Hey, Dad. Yeah? Do you still have those Bloodline Elites and the Ultimate Edition Series 20 Roman Reigns? I do. Because I want to do or do you want to? You want to review Roman Reigns and the Bloodline for your YouTube channel? Yeah. What is up everybody? Today we're going to be reviewing these Elite Usos and the Series 20 Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns. You say that you're sure that you're feeling fine? Yes. Just kind of out of character for you. Before we hop into this review, guys, if you would, throw a thumbs up on this video and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's real quick take a look here at the boxes on the Elite 106 Jimmy and Jay Uso and the Ultimate Edition Series 20 Roman Reigns. Router, where did we pick these up from? Well, I would actually not be able to answer that because these are from your collection. You are totally right. I am... <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, you know, just so used to making sure that we include that in our videos here. Mm -hmm. Let's look and see who else comes in series 106 here. We got the Bloodline from the War Games match in 2022. Matter who comes in this series. Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso, Sami Zayn, Chad Gable, Paul Bearer, and Roxanne Perez. And if you're interested in seeing Chad Gable and Sami Zayn reviews, make sure to scroll back a couple videos here on Rowdy Rowdy Reviews where you will see us review them. And now let's take a look here at the Tribal Chief, the head of the table, your now former mm -hmm. undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Right there, you see he's got the two belts with him. There is the Tribal Chief on the back. Which one of these are you most excited about, Ryder? The Roman Reigns. What? Yeah, you heard me right. I said the Roman Reigns. The Tribal Chief? Yes. Was not expecting that answer from you at all. I figured that you might say this, uh, this, Jimmy because of this hair piece thing. I don't know. Well, that thing looks funny. I don't know. I just figured that you may have been real excited about that, but let's hop into the review. And now, let's Uso Splash and the both of the Usos. Which one are you talking about first? Jimmy Uso. Tell us what all Mr. Jimmy Uso comes with. He comes with Interchangeable hands, the bloodline way, the red and black and white, we the one shirt, and the interchangeable hair piece. Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this is the first elite figure in your collection with an interchangeable hair piece? Yes, in our collection, but if y'all don't know this, there's actually another elite, and it is from a while back, and it is the Hornswoggle. Let's take a look at this interchangeable headpiece right quick because this is definitely super interesting to me looks like there's a like a flap right there but our, um let, let's how, how about this why don't you tell everyone at home about the head scan and then after we get out of the head scan we will take off that hair piece to see how that works so what can you tell us about that he has a black beard and it like it looks like jimmy yeah i think they i think they've done a great job on this jimmy and the grinning teeth from Jimmy. What's the back of his head look like? It looks like his wavy black and black and red hair is all the way pushed back to his back. Show him how that hair comes off. <laughs> Let's see that. That is terrifying. Dude, that looks like a cane mask. That looks like you that like it looks like that you could like take it off and he's got like little marks in the back of his head. Well, well the mold look, look at the mold that looks like a cane mask mold which maybe that's the only way that they could do that yeah that, let me see that <laughs> that thing looks so stinking weird and funny yeah okay <laughs> well throw on the other hairpiece. 
you gotta be like careful with it and like hold up yeah you gotta be careful with it <laughs> like pull back the hair and then make sure that none of the hair is gonna get smushed in and then just press it oh in. so that wasn't hard yeah that was not hard at all let's take a look at that okay outside of that being super weird that's pretty cool yeah i hope that that is something that mattel incorporates in some of their future figures here let's look at the yeah because look right there's the little line where it sits on top of like the cane mask that mm -hmm. that is pretty cool comment down below guys what is your thoughts on the interchangeable hair piece what are you doing throwing that on them mm -hmm. see what it looks like with that Super sick look for Jimmy Uso. Tell us, a Ryder, about the tights. The, the tights are black and white and red. What about those knee pads? Are they painted on, molded on, painted on? What do we got? They are painted on. Well, hmm? That's yeah. confusing. Yeah, let's see. Let's take a look. It's like a, like... You're getting confused right there with the knee articulation. Yeah. Whoa, what's it say right here on the left uh, leg here of Jimmy? It says bloodline. In white letters. And what kind of shirt do we got that holds this thing together? Velcro. And you, Ryder, pointed out something really weird about the toe articulation here on these elites. That they have the balancing. The ultimate edition toe articulation. Mm -hmm. So what do you rate this figure so far? I would rate it about a, like, out of a 10, I would probably say about, like, a 6 or 7. The interchangeable hair is weird. That's why I gave it a 7. Well, let's hop on into main event, Jey Uso. Let's address the elephant in the room, okay? Okay. What's up with Jey Uso's beard on this Elite 106 figure? It looks like the, there's like molding cheese. And you know what? It was not only with this specific one I picked out. I looked through that WrestleMania shipper. So I thought the same thing. I was like, there's something really up with that. But they were all like that. Like, what do you think that's supposed to be? The gray in his beard. Yes, he does have some gray in his beard, but. Not that much. That is really weird. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the face scan right quick. What's your thoughts on it? I think that it looks a lot like Jay besides the gray in his beard. And and, and that is like the start of a mullet. A sick mullet at that. You and Jay have very similar hairstyles here. He copied mine. Oh, he copied you? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't, I mean, you know. Duh. Dom and Jay copied mine. What does he have right here on the right arm? He has a, like, a basketball arm sleeve. A shimmer or something like that. And look at the tattoo detail there. Always amazing how well they capture that, which I know that they get scanned, but still. And is this shimmer, is it painted on, Ryder? Yes. It is. You got some wrist tape there. You got pretty much the same tights as Jimmy I had to think there for a second but his bloodline lettering is on the right side instead let's remove the shirt and take a look at the tattoos before we hop in to the tribal chief and there you have the tribal tattoos that Jimmy Jay and Roman are so known for let's spin around to the back side and you got it going up right here Kind of like, I guess, on his shoulder, or I guess on his back. Man, that is cool. Just how well they capture that every stinking time. So let's talk about the J. What do you rate it, dude? I would rate it probably about a nine. Okay, what stops you from giving it a full-blown 10? Well, just the grind the beard. That is a huge eyesore. Yeah. I can absolutely see what you mean by that. And you know what and, else? Go ahead. And also, like, if you were to put it up into, like, a light, 
if if you can tell, it's like that is brighter than like that part. Oh, the red on. Let's see. I don't think that the camera's gonna pick it up too well, but I see what you're saying with the different shades of red. It's not too bad. And now with 106, Jimmy and Jay Uso out of the way, we got one more figure to review, and that is the Ultimate Edition Series 20 Roman Reigns. What else does he come with, dude? He comes with some interchangeable hands, the universal titles, and some interchangeable heads. So before we get into the interchangeable heads and the figure itself, let's talk about how non-shiny these titles are right here. Non-shiny? Yeah, dude, they look just kind of dull. Maybe it's me. That's definitely you, because the camera, like, I even oh, see it. Oh, yeah, I see it a little bit, too, in the camera. Maybe it was. I just, maybe I wasn't paying that good of attention to it. And we can't forget to talk about the side plates. Whose is on there, Ryder? Roman Reigns. From his very memorable run is the WWE Undisputed Universal Champion. Undisputed? Whatever they're calling The it. Undisputed Galaxy of Universal WWE Champions. I can never remember what that is. It's so much to say. Yeah. Now, let's discuss these head scans. What is this thing doing? Before he does the speed. He's doing like the, oh, wow. Yeah, kind of like whenever he is in the <coughs> corner setting up, getting ready to tell you that the match is about to be over. Or, or whenever he is like, he's already did the spear, but his head is like in the. Oh, yeah, yeah. for like some stop motion. That would make a lot of sense. Why does it look like Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre mixed? It does. I remember on the last Roman Reigns Ultimate Edition, that it kind of looked the same. And I believe that this is actually the head scan from that same exact figure. Um, tell us about this one while I got it in my hands. It looks like Roman Reigns. And one thing that I don't like about it is like how thick the eyebrows are. Those are some thick caterpillars he's got right there. Let's compare it. Yeah, it doesn't look as thick. And then you got this head scan right here. Let's move it on over here. And what can you tell us about it? That it has his bun, like he has his hair up in a bun and he is grinning. So kind of a weird look for a Roman figure to be mm -hmm. smiling like that. Yeah. I don't know where you would even use it. Yeah, it is. I mean, maybe Maybe for like some stop motion where he is like maybe with Paul Heyman or something. A promo. A promo. There, there you go. There you go. Well, let's finish this thing up. Oh, wait. I forgot about one thing. <gasps> oh, the... yeah. I forgot all about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's throw that on him. How that thing got back there. Yep, there it is. That thing looks super cool. Oh, wait. It's on the wrong way. Oh, all the wrong way. There we go. There we go. And that head, we got to push that thing on there a little bit better than that. Yeah. Tell us what makes this Ultimate Edition figure an Ultimate Edition figure. How good the, like, the butterfly joints are. Like, they... What are the butterfly joints? How good the arms move. What does the butterfly joints do? They affect the articulation. Yes. And if you look here at this... Jay Uso, you see that he does not have those. He still or has, or Jimmy, any elite figure, they still have a wide range of articulation, but not nowhere near as much as the Ultimate Edition line. And not all the Ultimate Editions had the butterfly joints. It wasn't until recently that they started incorporating that. So well, let's look here at Mr. Rain's tattoos. And as you see, it's only on Roman's right hand side. What is this right here, Ryder? It is his glove. And I love the detail that they put into that, dude. You can see the Roman logo, him throwing the Superman punch. And what do we got right here? What's it say? It says Roman Reigns. Very cool that they added that and didn't just kind of, you know, phone that in. What color pants do we got? Black. Black all the way around. And let's talk about these boots. 
that they are from WrestleMania 39, and it looks like that he is doing the Superman punch, and it is mostly bl- no, it is mostly red, but like very tiny. Got a- hey, oh. did you even notice this? There's a Superman punch, but on the inside of the boots, you got the Roman Reigns logo oh. right there. I did not even notice that. I've never noticed that. Now that these Elite Usos have been unboxed and Ultimate Edition 20 Roman Reigns have been unboxed out of the three, which one's your favorite? The Roman Reigns. Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns? Mm-hmm. Not the like cool interchangeable hairpiece here on Jimmy or, you know, minus the, the beard right there. Yeah, that's... Roman Reigns. Mm-hmm. I would rate Roman out of a 10 and 11. I did not see that coming. I I didn't think that you was really going to be that much of a fan of that. But you know what? Um, I'm glad that you enjoy that so much. Make sure to comment down below and let us know which one of these three figures were your favorite that Ryder reviewed today. And... If you like Ultimate Edition figures, check out this video right here. We love you all. We appreciate you spending some time with us. And that's it for me, Ryder. Bye.